Operating a private helicopter can be quite expensive given its fuel requirements. If you are hopping from city to city, or especially if you are flying to remote locations. Of course, the larger the helicopter, the bigger the engine and the more fuel it needs to burn for each hour of flight. Smaller piston-powered helicopters can burn 5 to 20 gallons of fuel per hour, while larger turbine-powered helicopters can burn anywhere between 25 to over 1,000 gallons of fuel per hour. In this episode, we're looking at our top list of the most fuel-efficient private helicopters available in the market. We'll talk about each of their fuel burn rates, flight performance, technical features, and unit price. Check out today's interesting lineup if you're looking for the least fuel-hungry helicopters in the market. This is Aviation Federation, sharing with you exciting information about the latest and greatest in aviation and beyond. The Robinson 44 Raven 2 is at number 5. The aircraft is powered by a Lycoming I-0540 engine. The fuel economy of this Robinson helicopter is above 7 nautical miles per gallon, which translates to roughly 15 gallons per hour. It has a maximum cruise speed of 109 knots and a maximum range of 300 nautical miles. It can fly to a maximum altitude of 14,000 feet. The Robinson 44 has a rotor system with two blades, a T-bar cyclic, streamlined instrument panels, and an efficient and secure fuel system that works even if the aircraft crashes, as evidenced by past incidents involving this aircraft. The aluminum monocoque and powder-coated steel tube structure make for a light but strong airframe, and the aerodynamic fuselage allows the helicopter to go faster and use less fuel. Controls that are boosted by hydraulics get rid of cyclic and collective feedback forces and make the handling quick and easy. The average asking price for this model is over 500,000 US dollars. At number 4 is the MD-600N. The aircraft is powered by a Rolls-Royce Model 25 C47M turboshaft engine. The fuel economy of this helicopter is about 2 nautical miles per gallon, which can go for as high as roughly 40 gallons per hour. It has a maximum cruise speed of 134 knots and a maximum range of 380 nautical miles. This helicopter can fly to a maximum altitude of 20,000 feet. The MD-600's rotor has six blades and is 8.4 meters across. When putting the helicopter away, the blades can be folded and easily stowed. The cabin has bubble and sliding windows which are especially helpful for keeping an eye on things, observing traffic, and searching for newsworthy events. It has room for the pilot and up to seven passengers in a standard three-seat configuration, with a three-seat bench in the middle, plus two seats in the back, or up to five passengers in club-style seats. This MD helicopter costs over 1.5 million US dollars. The Airbus H120 is flying at number 3. This aircraft is powered by a Turbomeca Arius 2F engine. The fuel economy of this helicopter is approximately 4 nautical miles per gallon, or almost 30 gallons per hour. It has a maximum cruise speed of 120 knots and a maximum range of 383 nautical miles. 
it can reach a maximum altitude of 17,000 feet. The Airbus H120 has enough room for one pilot and four passengers to sit comfortably. The cabin is wide and open, with air conditioning and plenty of legroom. This rotorcraft is the quietest in its class, because of its third-generation Fenestran tail rotor and the fact that it has a well-insulated cabin, with very low vibration levels. The large glass windshield and side windows give everyone on board an unbeatable view of their surroundings and add to the appeal of this helicopter. This helicopter has a base price of up to 2 million US dollars, brand new. The MD-530F enters the list at number 2. This aircraft is powered by a Rolls-Royce Model 25 C47M turboshaft engine. The fuel economy of this helicopter is above 7 nautical miles per gallon, or around 35 gallons per hour. It has a maximum cruise speed of 134 knots and a maximum range of 260 nautical miles. This helicopter can easily reach a maximum altitude of 16,000 feet. MD Helicopters says the 530F is certified for single pilot operations under visual flight rules or in weather conditions where the pilot can see clearly. From the pilot and co-pilot seats, there is ample vantage out of the large tinted plexiglass windscreen and side windows. In the event of a crash, the structure of the airframe is meant to absorb energy, minimizing damage to the aircraft. In the event of a catastrophic rollover, the A-frame fuselage protects the pilot and crew by acting as a built-in roll cage. This MD helicopter can cost anywhere between 2 to 3 million US dollars. Before moving on to the number one spot, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and show your support with a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. It only takes a few seconds and it really helps our channel to grow. Finally, at number one is the Airbus H135. This aircraft may be powered by twin Safran Arius 2B2 Plus engines or Pratt & Whitney PW206B3 engines. The fuel economy of this helicopter can achieve a rate of above 2 nautical miles per gallon and a DOC per nautical mile of about $6.33. It has a maximum cruise speed of 136 knots and a maximum range of over 340 nautical miles. Its maximum operating altitude is up to 20,000 feet. The Airbus H135 is a state-of-the-art multi-purpose aircraft that can be equipped with a night vision imaging system or NVIS and has a customizable cockpit, cabin layout, and exterior lighting equipment. This helicopter can accommodate up to six passengers, together with one or two pilots. Even when only one engine is running and using little fuel, its powerful engines have great performance and essential safety backup systems in place. Still in production, this Airbus helicopter costs over 5 million US dollars. Flying a helicopter need not be expensive if you're using a fuel-efficient aircraft. We hope this lineup helps, in case you're looking to buy or charter a private helicopter. 
Let us know what you think of these models and share your thoughts and flying experiences with our community down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to keep up to date with our latest videos. Once again, this is Sophie and you're watching Aviation Federation. Thank you for watching and fly safe.